Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is convert sorted list to binary search tree. Given the head of a singly linked list where the elements are sorted in ascending order, convert it to a height balanced BST. For this problem, a height balanced binary tree is defined as a binary tree in which the depth of the two subtrees of every node never differ more than one. So we could technically take this linked list and make this the head and just say, okay, write tree negative three, write tree zero, and have this like big line here. Uh, that technically would be a binary or a tree, a binary tree, but it's not balanced, right? So that wouldn't count. We want it to be completely balanced uh, and not differ more than one. So the key thing here, if we were to build this binary tree with this linked list, we need to find the midpoint because that's always going to be the head. Uh, the root node like what we would do is write some sort of recursion and say find the midpoint make that the head and then create subtrees finding the midpoint here that's going to be left and find um, the midpoint here to make the right node and make subtrees down the line right but this is a linked list uh, we're not going to be able to like just jump around um, but we do know it's sorted right so um, what we could do and what we will do is Instead of building this into an array, we will get the length. If we have the length, we could do a binary um, recursive call, or we can figure out where we need to end our recursion by uh, doing a binary search. And so I'll show you what I mean. What we'll do is first create, uh, we, we need to first generate the length of our linked list. And to do that, we'll just get curve head, and we'll say while cur, cur equals cur dot next, and increase our end. Next thing we need to do is write some sort of recursion. So to do this, what I'll do is use the start and end uh, to recursively call. And the base case would be if the start is greater than end, then we know this is a single node and we can return a none, or this node doesn't exist, so we can return a none here. Now, basically what we'll do is build our substree here, starting with the left side, then define the root, and then go to the right side. What we'll do is say, okay, left is going to equal recursion. Well, first we need to figure out what the middle is. The middle is just going to be start plus end divided by 2. And the left will be, uh, let's see, start to mid minus 1, right? Now now we need to uh, define our, our root node. And this would be tree node. Uh, but we don't know what the value is here, right? So we'll leave that for now. And we'll say, okay, root.left is equal to left. And root.right is equal to recursion mid plus one to end. I see one. I see one, Daddy. That's right, Lana. Okay, so what we'll have to do then is re return our recursion zero and minus one. And uh, this will be something like this, but the tricky part is to figure out, well, what do we generate here with this tree node? So if you think about it, if we were to do this recursion, it would continue left, 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 and it would go all the way to the leftmost side, right? So what we can do is just have some sort of global variable. We'll say, okay, self.head is equal to head, and we'll make that equal to the root node here. We'll say self.head. dot value and create a tree node right there and we'll also need to move ahead then our self dot head next and this way when we um, go to the right side it makes sure that it's going to be the next one and this tree that we're generating like this order should generate a balanced binary tree so we got to return our root here so at the very end this should return the head of the root should be the mid so uh, let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay, so it's different, but if we just look, it's like 0, negative 10, 5, and then negative 10, negative 3, and then 5, 9. So it, it is a binary search tree and it's balanced. It's just kind of in a different order, so let's submit that. <clears throat> and there we go, accepted. So this is O of n time, and I believe it's O of 1 space, although if you count the binary tree itself, I guess it's all in space as well. Now, uh, this was not easy. Um, I knew it had something to do with finding the midpoint and doing a recursion, but 
I think the trickiest part here was figuring out like how do we actually get the values um, and to be honest I'm, I'm still not completely sure how this worked um, you know but I, I guess we just gotta continue and um, maybe look more into it like how the path works to figure out why this algorithm actually works okay thanks for watching my channel remember do not trust me I know nothing